Hello, I'm Mrs East. I'm the Pastoral Manager for Year 10 and 11, and I'll be discussing revision techniques and stress management. Preparation is imperative for all students revising prior to assessments and exams. This provides maximum impact to ensure they are supported and guided using varied techniques, intervention and access to online platforms such as GCSE Pod, Seneca, Quizlet, Educate and Hegarty Maths. Study support session timetables have been shared with students. Sessions occur before school, lunchtime and after school by subject teachers, all of which are tailored to support and provide techniques and enhance performance of targeted topics and of those to their choosing. Students can feel extremely overwhelmed and find it difficult to balance their schedule. Organisation and planning their revision time will support to reduce stress during the exam periods. A revision timetable that is colour coded will highlight time spent on each subject. This will also indicate where they may need more support and give students the opportunity to speak to subject teachers. Effective revision can reduce stress by making students feel more in control of their work and more confident they will succeed. It's important that students allocate time for essential tasks. The key areas to support reduction of stress is a good diet. It's important students try to eat a well-balanced diet. Research shows breakfast on the morning of exams improves performance. Prior to examinations in our academy, breakfast is now provided in the canteen. Sleeping and getting plenty of rest at least six to eight hours a night are rec recommended. If getting to sleep is a problem, they should try to at least half an hour break from revision before going to bed. Exercising regularly will not only help to keep them physically healthy, but also uses up the hormones and nervous energy produced when they are stressed. The exercise will also help to relax the muscles which become tense when they are stressed and as exercise increases the blood flow around the body, it can help them to think more clearly. Breathing. If they notice they are starting to feel very stressed, for example, just before they enter the examination, they can try to regulate their breathing by simply concentrating on their breathing. Breathe out to a slow count of four. Relaxation. It's important to build leisure time into their revision days and the days that they sit their exams. Anything they find relaxing or enjoyable. This will give them a break from thinking or worrying about exams and will be beneficial. Managing exam stress. Test taking anxiety or exam stress is very common in students. It can be helpful or unhelpful. It's important that exam stress is managed. How can families support? Go through their mock or exam timetable. Your support and interest will be appreciated and help to motivate them. Your high expectations will provide plenty of support, both of which are needed to help your child improve, perform and develop resilience. Support them to work smarter. Not all revision techniques are equal. Encourage them to space out their revision. How you cope with their setbacks. There will be highs and lows. How you react to their lows will impact how many highs they have. Minimise distractions. Where possible, provide a quiet environment, a revision area with minimum distractions. Encourage them to switch off mobile phones. Rise and dine. Make sure they eat breakfast. It plays a big role in concentration and memory. 
limit their consumption of caffeine, particularly found in tea, coffee, fizzy, soft drinks. Excess caffeine tends to increase jittery feelings. It can also impair their concentration and may keep them up at night. Regular bedtime and lots of sleep. It's important they get six to eight hours of sleep each night. If they sleep right, they will think right the next day. Avoid cabin fever. Encourage them to get fresh air each and every day. I hope you found this information useful. The pastoral team are always happy to support all student wellbeing. If you have any concerns or issues, please do get in touch. Thank you.